What's up, everybody? Let's see. What's up, everybody? Um, let's see. Every Wednesday during quarantine, I'm gonna get online and paint something up. I'm gonna add something to my collection, and uh, I have to fix the lighting over here. It's a little messed up, but we've got YouTube, Instagram. You'll see my cats run around here at some point. Perfect. Okay, so my brushes. What's going on? Am I sideways on Instagram? Do I need to flip myself around? Because I'm worried that I'm sideways. You can see that over here on on YouTube I'm good. All right then. Ah, oh, this is such a mess. I'm really just trying to get this set up. Can't stop fooling around with this. Here we go. 
I normally have all of this set up before I do this. Okay. So please forgive me. And it's okay as always. All right, I think we're good. There we go. Well, it took, what, <laughs> 13 minutes? All right, great. So last week I had a birthday. It's exciting. Um, I feel sorry for all of us to have. I mean, like this whole year, we're really going to experience what it's like to have a quarantine birthday. I mean, everyone in January and February, pretty much, you're lucky. <laughs> well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You just have to celebrate at home with family that's already infected. No. <laughs> Quarantine is very interesting. Very interesting times. So, um, I don't really have anything. Usually when I paint, I have some sort of where I'm, I have some sort of image on where I'm going to go. Really just gotta let my mood take me. So what's up everybody? Sure, we're still good. Okay. All right. Last week I was on, and because I wasn't paying attention to detail, which is important, I ended up putting some stuff on here to play some music. They got me with copyright. So instead of dealing with all of that, I just decided to take it down. That's okay. You know. It is what it is. I'm gonna start with a little fluorescent pink. That's hot. I love that color. Has there been any activities that you've been into? Anything that you've been doing to kind of pass the time? A little green. A lot of weird stuff. The colors all over the place. A little bit of middle. Just, I can't with this. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to bring my YouTube followers a little closer because this is just whiting out everything. It's not fair. I don't know. I hope it comes out better in the editing. Get into it.
I have a little green on the side because nobody said so. Colors are good, but I need to throw some other stuff. I'm gonna grab some other colors. So, I don't know what's going on here, but I like it. I like it so far. I have a little orange. Love. I think I might do the orange later. Ah, oh, who cares? Let's do a little orange over here. All right. Oh, fun. Right. I'm going to hit this with a hair dryer. So I'm going to warn you now, it's going to be a little loud. It's going to be a little loud. So just go ahead and hit that mute button. Three, two, Now that I've got that first bit set, I'm going to let it go. Once it's dry to the touch, I don't have to worry about it. Um,
Oh, not fair. I didn't give you a warning. <laughs> My apologies. Okay. I am going to set this aside. Got a little bit of this pouring solution. It's in this pouring medium. Put it in my bottle. It's gonna give me a nice uh, just like the perfect texture for making, I don't know. Galaxies, little starbursts, things like that. It mixes in with your color, but it does not dilute. It doesn't dilute the color at all. It's pretty cool. What's going on? <laughs> I guess so. I think they're pretty gay. <laughs> It's a shout out to Terrapin Care Station out in Colorado. If you're ever in Colorado and you want to hang out with the best buds, they have some of the best selections you can find. Hey, okay, where's my flicking brush? Where's my flicking brush? That's all right. Use one of these. Just flicking. Soaked it all in. It didn't work out so well. Forget that. This is uh, really nice. And I love when you get to do the little starburst because you just kind of flick it. Flip it, you fling it and flip it. And then you reverse it. Right? You get some really nice hard flicks. It's gonna look really cool in the end. It's a nice little. I don't know how to do the cigarette monster sound, but I did. So funny. The cigarette monster. Okay, so I'll tell you a little story about that. My, my grandmother on my mom's side, hilarious. Just an absolute hilarious individual. She would late night sit on the toilet smoke a cigarette okay it's kind of her her little moment to herself so if you happen to be up late at night walking through the house you might encounter the cigarette monster that's what we'd all come to terms with it come around the corner my mom's bathroom. And all you would do is see the glow of the end of her cigarette. She would, the cigarette monster is gonna get you. We would immediately turn around and run, you know, terrified. The cigarette monster was gonna get us. Or we'd giggle and we'd laugh, we'd play it off. If you're not doing shit like the cigarette monster, you ain't living. Well, I think it's our duty that we pass those on. All right, okay, so I flicked, as a little tidbit into the cigarette monster. Uh, so I flicked a little bit on there. I'm gonna take this, because it's cool. I'm gonna smear some of these. Make them a little bigger than what they are. Now, let's see there. OK. 
galaxy is really kind of mad. It's pretty cool. Ah, I think so. I think it's pretty neat. All right, and then, because you kind of dulled what you just did, you pick another color, which have this lovely pink already preset. We can give this to Shake. I don't know why I had to get all that, uh, whatever. This is exciting though. I love creating. This has been a great time to create. Everybody, I don't know, everybody's been saying that and everybody's been out doing it, so it's good. I should probably refill these, but I only use a little bit here and there. So I don't like to waste. I like to use what I have. That's about it. So, a little bit of white. And a couple of these. Oh, that's a pretty big one of those. So I'm going to add some pink to it which will look really, really cool in the black light. I know it really doesn't look like much now, but once it's all said and done, it's, it's gonna be really cool. I can't have any music, so it kind of sucks. You know, music is a great tool that's used. Copywriting and whatnot. I'm gonna do. Oh, come out at all like what I wanted. All right. Again, it will look really cool with blacklight. It's something that you may not see with your eyes now, but once you hit it with the blacklight, it's gonna look really, really cool. You know, I love banging it, but it seems like every time I bang it, I'm just throwing more of it on me and everywhere else. Kind of tapping it like a cigarette seems to be the best. Tap it like you're ashing. I can only ash so much stuff. I'm ashing a lot of myself.
fill in some of my spaces over here. Get my paints to work together. Get my seams. Where's my animal white everything? Can we get to the depth and character? Makes it look nice. Now I just dab a little bit of this. And voila. And a little texture. Doesn't look so bad. Let me mumble a lot. Okay, so I need to speak it up, obviously. I like adding a little bit of white everywhere because it gives it enough texture that it makes it stand out. You gotta make sure that you're being seen. Not everything needs it. Some things look better with it. Okay, so far we have this. Wow. Kind of looks like a phoenix. Kind of like a hummingbird. Sure. We have a hummingbird. Look. <laughs> Why not? Um, I am going to. I'm going to need to heat this up again. So. Yeah, actually. Let's see, do I have anybody on my Instagram? Is there anybody over there? Because if not, I'm gonna switch over to Facebook. I don't know, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm going to paint my, or, sorry, paint. I'm gonna go wash my brush and then I'm going to be right back Flip this over to Facebook. Get some extra people in here. All right, I'll see y'all soon.
All right. What's up, everybody? Let's up a little bit. A little bit more. What's going on, everybody? Two minutes. <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> see if I can get over here a little bit. Did a little explaining. I was over on, I still am over on YouTube. So if you haven't already, go to the link, subscribe so you can see whatever I'm doing whenever. Um, I have started this. I was ever on Instagram, but apparently Instagram Live is acting up. So whatever, I'm here. Whatever. So I've already started my work today. Oh my goodness. You're gonna see my cat running around in the back. She loves the backdrop. <laughs> Dude, you're nuts. She's crazy. Yeah, like she's absolutely crazy. What are you doing, crazy? <laughs> she's running around here. Okay, she's getting the zoomies. She's hilarious. Uh, whatever. All right, so I have already got this done. I'm. I'm gonna hit it with the hairdryer again, so please mute. It's only gonna, yeah, I'm only gonna do it for a second, but go ahead and hit mute. It's gonna be really loud. So, three, two, one. Turn the sound back on. All right. So I have my base set up. I'm going to start taping up now. I'm going to tape up little sections that I'm going to paint up and um, give it something, something really cool. She left that, didn't she? Go ahead and take this phone. So what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? You stay insane during this quarantine time? I can tell you, each Wednesday I'll be here doing one of these because I'm loving it. It's one of my favorite things to do, and I'm really glad that I get to share it with everybody. And it's like there's just too much crazy madness going on. So we're sitting around in our pajamas. Might as well do some art, right? I don't know. I would. See, that's what it is. That's what it's about, you know? Um, unfortunately, they will not let me do or partake in any of that on these. So I don't. Maybe I do before. You know, I'll take a hit, whatever. But other than that, they don't know my BNF. Because I don't want them to. I love that. You know how it goes. My last video was like two hours long. <laughs> I created this whole thing 
and I was silly and didn't pay attention to the censorship. Copyright. So. That was on my fault, or that was, <clears throat> that was on my fault. That was my bad. I've been watching a lot of people doing some stained glass on their windows, you know, getting some paint and taping up things. It's a really cool thing. It's a good way to get your kids involved in art. Just get some paint brushes and some scotch tape. It looks really cool too. I suggest if you're going to do that, uh, mix in a little of the glitter glue in with certain colors and add that to it and it will actually give a sparkle when you do it too. Just a little whatever. Pretty much I'm gonna have all of these going in in a dimension diagonal going like that. It already looks pretty far out, doesn't it? I think it looks pretty cool. So once I get all this taped up, I'll paint certain areas, certain spots, um, and then we get to my favorite part, which is taking the tape off and seeing what you did. And the cool thing is, each one of these pieces that I'm doing every week, I will have all of these pieces put up on my website. You will, you'll be able to buy any one of my pieces. Um, I am working on getting a full collection to come out. So once I have my collection, we we'll have enough pieces that I feel comfortable putting out. I will have items for every person, like every walk of life, you're gonna like something on the site. So it might be canvas, it might be shoes, it might be clothing, it might be household items. You never know. Um, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, but I will not reveal them yet. So just stay tuned. It's fun. I know that we've all added weight. And I'm excited about that. We've all kind of fattened up a little bit, which I'm guessing is what they would hope. And by they, I mean the alien race that's going to come get us. Because I'm like, y'all remember Independence Day with Will Smith, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. That's probably how this is going to go down. Which would be cool. Different. Ah, oh, that sound. What's up, everybody? I don't know who else is on, but Ricky, Cam, Sean, Lisa. I see some peoples. Hello. Welcome to the Gay Bob Ross, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> 
every Wednesday I get on here and I paint something up to add to my collection. It gives us a little something to look at, a little something to watch. You know, you might be packing a bowl, you might be washing the dishes, you know, whatever. Whatever you're washing and watching to pass the time, throw me in the mix. I don't mind. Oh my gosh. So we got some takeout the other day and that did not go out so well. I sat in the foyer of O'Charlie's, which is like, I don't know, 15 by 15. And I'm in there with 10 other people, 20 other people were all crammed in there. I'm like, this is, we're all waiting for food. Everybody's all mad. Everybody's huffing and puffing. And what is going on here? It's scary. Um, have any of you experienced anything like that where you're just like, you have to straight up tell people, uh, can you back up please? Like six feet to six feet and you are, you know, whatever. I was at the craft store and I, I waited until, I don't know, I waited about two and a half hours to get into this craft store, which was stupid on my part, but I needed the stuff that I needed and I, whatever, I had the afternoon was just sitting there. So um, <laughs> I get to the door and they flip the sign on me and they tell me, come back in the morning. I was like, you have seen me out here with these people. Like, you know that I've been here. I was part of the long group that had been here. Everyone else that came up behind me had just been there. Well, I turn around, because you know, they're like, we're only gonna let a handful of people in the store, you know, whatever. I was part of the handful of people, right? Wrong. I guess they made the decision to cut it, the line off at me with two minutes to spare, might I add. So uh when she came out and said, I'm only gonna let the next few people in and looked at me and the girl in front of me, um, I turned around and there's an entire parking lot full of people. There's 20 people standing behind me, like right behind, like I turned around because I could smell the lady behind me. And I'm like, if I could smell you, you are too close. <laughs> COVID-19, back up. <laughs> but some people don't realize that. A lot of people don't think it's real. A lot of people are just like, you know, I. none of my people have died, so it isn't real. I'm like, it, that, is, that is the worst way to go about thinking about this. Because it isn't, you know, Oh, did it kill your grandma? Well, unless it kills your grandma, you obviously shouldn't prevent it from getting out. And that's, that's totally whatever. I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to escape. Escape that. <laughs> I would have tranquil music playing, but they'd probably get me for copyright, so I don't want to do that. So we are going all natural. You get to hear my whiny ass voice talk about waiting in line at Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> oh, I love Joanne. Joanne works it for me. She works it well. I actually had a babysitter named Joanne for a long time. Shout out to Joanne Steinberg, who is in no way, shape, or form watching. But she went to the same synagogue that Jerry Springer did as a kid. So they grew up, you know, being friends. She had a lot of cool stories. You know, at first she wanted to call it bullshit, but she had some really cool stories. Made you believe. Okay, so I'm taping this up. Now I'm going to paint some really cool psychedelic scenes in each little one. And then we'll do the unmasking. Mm, I don't know what I want to do with this. Maybe I'll come across here. but it's too even. There we go. All right. 
right, now's the fun part. We'll grab a little, little palette here and stick some colors in it that I really like. I love fluorescence, of course. All of my pieces are meant to look a certain way in three different lights. I was, well, normal light, they'll have a certain way. You turn the lights off, they'll be in black, light, or when you turn the lights off, they'll glow in the dark. So I have a certain look then. And also if you were to hang it or present it with black light, it will take on a third form. So it's kind of cool. I envision one day having a gallery open and each one of these pieces will be, or each one of my pieces will be in a, you know, blacked out curtain booth where you go in and you see it in white light, you see it without the lights and then the black light will come in and give you um, a different look to it. So it's cool. It's cool. It's a neat thing. I think it would be a cool experience. And it's neat to have. I think it'd be cool, you know, later on, a hundred years from now, if these pieces are still floating around, they will, you know, I think it would be cool that there might be one day somebody owning a piece and not knowing that. And it's very possible. So it's a little hidden gem, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so I've got some pink. Let's throw some green in. These are neon. I love neon colors. Obviously, I'm going to throw some yellow in there. I normally do not tint these out. I don't like to um, change them. They're really bold. So I like to keep them as true to the color as possible. Some of these other ones I can, you know, do a little darker or a little lighter. I'm loving it. A little regular orange. Psych, I gotta run in my car and get my fluorescent. But I'll be right back. Please stand by and watch my kitty run around the yard. I'm back. So, I got some of this rust -oleum. It is a glow in the dark. So, it's taped, isn't it? Hit it with little bursts. It's 
like really cool lines in it. And that simply adds the glow in the dark effect that makes the piece have its second transformation. When you turn the lights off, you'll see everything with these lines. It's pretty cool. So let's get to painting some blocks. This whole corner here. Side of me. Just gonna take that color, put it pretty much in the corner, and then work into it. Give it a nice mix. Come down here and get my my edge. Next week, I encourage you, if you have nothing to do, you know, spend about $20, get yourself a nice little canvas, a couple colors to start off with. Obviously, primary colors are a great start. Um, I also like to work with fluorescence. So it really is up to you. There's no wrong way to do it. And that's good to know. A lot of people are scared to pick up a brush because they don't have training, they don't have the technique. Well, there's a lot of people who don't. The point is to just create. Do it. No one's stopping you. Put another one over here. Kind of like the way that looks. I really hope I like the way it looks because it's probably going to end up all over the front of my shirt. This one, this, and this one down here that's bleeding into it, which I like. I think I might also have it. I don't know. That might be it for a minute. That might be it for a minute on that color. orange. Real nice orange. Actually, I'm going to cut that out. So I have my X-Acto knife. I'm going to cut this little space out here. Remember, when you're using your X-Acto knife, to never press too hard. Just let it kind of glide across the top. Or pierce right through that thing.
Dang it, I meant to have this done before. It's okay. There it goes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes. Oh, that's great. I cannot wait to see what you do because you have got you got some real talent. You do. I'm just doing abstract. This is this is something very anybody can do. There's no wrong to it. But girl, you got you got some real artistic talent. I'm not trying to discredit myself, but yes. I cannot wait to see what you do. Oh my gosh, how cool would it be? I don't know. I go daydreaming about all kinds of stuff. You know me. When this is all over, maybe we could do some classes. Which would be cool. I just see us with our, you know, our easels and our our paints and our wine, hanging out in the woods, not in the woods, but I almost went to the park and did this today just because I'm like, I, I live in the woods, but I still was about to go to the park just because. There are a lot of people in the parks now, so I try not to get too involved with all that. So I'm dabbing a little bit of the fluorescent orange on there. Let it pick up real nicely. The black light. Get that whole orange. Looking pretty neat, eh? Yeah, that is awesome. The only thing that sucks is trying to get craft supplies. I'm the type of buyer that likes to go in and look at stuff and look at the different prices and, you know, whatever but what we're doing now you can't really necessarily do that but i am definitely a tangible shopper i like to feel what i'm buying so it makes it a little difficult especially when i'm you know choosing colors You know, depending on how they were shot, colors don't necessarily look the same. It's just how it is. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna add some green in now. We got like, like teal, got some orange. I'm gonna go in with some green now. Some neon green. What needs some green? 
don't want to do this whole thing here. screen kind of goes in it looks a certain way now but once you hit it with the black light it just looks it pops oh i can't watch i'll i'll get into that in a little bit matt i just saw your video i mean i saw the video posted but i haven't watched it yet Did you order anything else? I don't even know who else is still here. Who am I talking to? I don't know. Who is it? I don't know. It's not showing me who else is here, but there's four people here. I see you. I see you. I don't know who you are. So has anybody, let's see, I don't know who I'm talking to. I guess I'm talking to myself. Oh, it's going so cool. I know when all this is over, I'm going dancing. That's it. Ain't nothing else to it. Yes, it's looking good. I like it. I add a little green to my pinks because that looks really cool. Some orange. I say pink. Really cool look in the black light. Normally I'd be jamming out for like a few and a half or something, but they won't let me.
I was a little unsure at first, but I really like the way that looks. I love it. I love it.
Ooh, trippy. I'm loving it. Thanks, Sherry. For a second. Take your seat back again. I am hopping in here and taking a little I uh, love you too. Hey. Let's see. And I'm shading this in because it needs it. Got a little too much of a brush. I normally have music playing, but because I can't have music, it sounds a little boring. It's okay. Let me entertain you with my pants. Okay, so I'm gonna mix a little bit of my pouring medium in with some white acrylic. And just a little squirt bottle. And shake it until I feel it's mixed. Which will take a while.
Shake that bottle up. I really like this pink.
Okay, so that's what it looks like now. Crazy, huh? It's crazy where it started. Now, I'm going to untape this, and we are going to reveal what it looks like. Really should let this paint sit for a little bit, but that's okay. If I do it quick like a band-aid, it'll be all right. All right, the first one's done. Put all my scraps over here. Ooh, that's funky. This is gonna look so cool. So there, <clears throat> we have the reveal. It doesn't show it much, but that's okay.
turn off the lights here and hopefully be able to see what it looks like in the black light. Can't really see too much, but there's a lot going on there. It's pretty cool. This would look really cool in any kid's bedroom. And actually the entire collection, I mean, it look awesome in your bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, wherever. Wherever you need to add some color, these are perfect. And like I said, each one of them looks different in the light that you put them in. So it looks a certain way with the lights on, with the lights off, and then with the black light on. It's pretty cool. Well, that is all the time that I have for today. I appreciate you all checking in. I appreciate you all stopping by. I'm also over on YouTube. I do this every Wednesday. I will create a new piece, which I will add to my collection, which should be on my Shopify account very soon. So keep an eye out for that and keep creating. We are locked in for quarantine so you might as well do something have fun this is so therapeutic i never in a million years thought that i would be into painting as much as i am and this is such a, a easy way to express yourself there's no wrong way to do it there's no wrong way to paint a recess okay i'm out of here Time to go clean some stuff up, let this paint dry. I'll have it put up on the Instagram later on today and on Facebook. So if you haven't already, please go over to my YouTube, subscribe. It takes two seconds. It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Plus, you will know, you'll be alerted next Wednesday when I hop back on here and create something totally new. So, all right. I love you all. Thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. It keeps me motivated to keep going. And I love you all. I will see you all soon. Keep this here. You all to watch. You all to see. Or something. All right. Love you. Bye. This has been Let's Paint with Gavin Scott.